Everyone is talking about crazy builds and crazy DPS, but no one is really talking about how to go about it. Where do these crazy echoes come from and what do you need to do to max out their potential? I will be showing you how to gather and build out your echoes. Hello everyone, my name is Sonia and welcome to the channel. So what are echoes? They are effectively your gear equipment like the other games. They give you bonus stats and set bonuses. They are divided into three categories. The forecast echoes, which are essentially the world bosses. Their primary bonus stats can be healing bonuses, crit rate, crit damage, basic attack percentage, defense percentage, HP percentage, with a second stat of attack. Three cost echoes primary stats can be elemental damage, energy region, attack percentage, defense percentage, and HP percentage, with a second stat of attack. The one cost echoes primary stat is attack percentage, defense percentage, and HP percentage, with a second main stat of being just HP. Let's start with the farming of the echoes. Even at the lowest of soul 3 level, you can start to farm echoes, so try to fight all of the TD on your way for material drops and for the echoes themselves. Trust me, more extra echoes will help you later. In order for you to reach your level 15 databank to get gold echoes, you must farm all of the tacit discord's echoes up to purple. Even then, it will only bring your databank to level 13 or 14. For you to get to 15 and above, you have to complete the guidebook milestone beginner's guide. Some of the quests actually want you to upgrade your echoes and tune them. To do this, use the lowest tier echo, which are the one cost green ones. The reason behind this is you want to conserve your upgrade materials for the gold echoes. So using the lowest tier ones will accomplish that requirement and save you the material. Once you reach level 15 databank, you have a few options at this point to get the gold echoes. First option, remember when I said the more echoes will help you? Well, now you can use the databank merge option to turn green and purple echoes into gold ones. Of course, the rate is still not 100% and you will still get purple and blue, but this merging process will power level your databank to a higher level, better drop rate, but it will also provide you with a bunch of gold echoes to start with. This will effectively eliminate the amount of gold echoes you need to travel around to farm. Stop merging them when you start seeing gold in the selections. Also a quick tip here, you can relax merging them as the merge function will not select any echoes that are locked or echoes that you currently have equipped. Second option is to use the locate function of your databank and start traveling the world to farm them. You can even locate echoes that you have not encountered. You can farm them using lower soul 3 level to make things progress a little quicker. As soul 3 levels does not affect the drop rate of the echoes. Only your databank level will affect that drop rate. Third option is to use the random echo item from the challenges or events reward. These are rare and you won't be getting them until you have progressed in the game quite a bit. Each will allow you to pick a 3 cost echoes of your choice with the bonus stats that correspond to the echoes element. I would save this until the very end of your farming, when there are a few that just refuse to drop, no matter how much you farm for them. Now let's talk about the build and the elements. Each character in the game will have an element, with the exception of Rover, as Rover can use both Spectro and Havoc. Things to keep in mind is that you will want to equip each of the character with only Echo that has the same corresponding element. However, do not use the same echo as this will not allow you to get the 5 same element different echo set effect, which is called the Sonata effect in-game. The first slot should be equipped with the world boss that you farm, as their echo skill is pretty damaging compared to the regular echoes. The only exception to this are healer character. Some of the world boss like the Bellborn Giocellone will have the healing bonus primary stats. The second and third slot should be populated with the three cost echo with the same elemental damage bonus primary stats as the character. For example, if you are building out Havoc Rover with the Havoc Echoes, make sure that they have the Havoc damage bonus as their primary stats. This will allow the Sonata effect to give you even more damage boosts. The fourth and fifth slot is for one cost echoes. Unless you are building a tank build or a healer build, I would highly recommend just sticking with the attack primary traits. Now that we have the echoes and you know what to equip your character with, let's talk about how to upgrade the echoes and tune them. Don't upgrade the echoes until you figure out what kind of build you want. For example, if you're going for a max crit rate build, then don't 
upgrade the forecast echo until you get one with the crit rate primary stats. When you upgrade them, do 5 level each time only. Don't max them out. This is due to the random stats that you could get when you tune them every 5 levels. Sure, it is random, so you can't really control it, but that doesn't mean you can't make the best of it. You should upgrade the echo to level 5, tune them once and see what the first stat is before continuing. You can get any of the primary stats that the echo would get in the tune stats, so if you want crit rate, and you get an HP percentage, I would stop upgrading that echo right there and farm a different one. This way you are guaranteed at least one good tune stats. If you are a little more lenient, you can try up to three tune stats and hope that you can at least get two or three good tune stats. Something I don't see a lot of people discussing is that you can reuse your upgraded or tune echoes as XP materials for the other echoes. It's not a 100% exchange rate, but at least you are effectively not losing or wasting 25 level worth of XP material on an echo that you will never use. If there are any leftover, you will get it back in the form of the corresponding echo upgrade items, including the tune materials. And there you have it, a comprehensive guide to echoes. You can now go out there, farm and create op character with ace. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe to the channel, it would help us a lot. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.